hello everyone in today's video we will discuss about the apud cells and apud mass so let's see what is apud cells so firstly we will see that what is apud cells and apud mass apud means amines polypeptide polypeptide uptake and decarboxylase so apud cells are the uh, cells having amines having polypeptides or um, having the property to uh, take up maximum polypeptide from the body and having decarboxylase enzyme which converts the uh, amino acid into amine amines so these are the endocrine cells ap you do our endocrine cells they develop from the neural crest and they are present in the pituitary gland in the intestinal um, lining and in the thyroid gland in the uh, adrenal gland etc so the tumors of tumors of the cells is called the apudo mass so as i have already told uh, the properties of these cells and the development of uh, these cells from where it has taken place so uh, the tumors uh, have been uh, classified into different groups that is the uh, ortho endocrine ortho endocrine is the uh, one type of uh, tumors of apud mass these are the tumors uh, secreting normal polypeptides of their cells of origin so examples are like insulin as they are releasing insulin which is a polypeptide gastrinoma gastric cells from gastric cells gastrinoma this is also related with the zollinger ellison syndrome and uh, uh, there is also examples of pheochromocytoma that is the uh, tumor of the adrenal gland and the neuroblastoma that is the tumor one of the tumors of the central nervous system so this was the uh, about uh, ortho endocrine tumors second one is the para endocrine tumors of apudo mass so these are the tumors of endocrine gl gland secreting hormones and having the characteristics of other glands like there are uh, uh, having as we know we have studied about the ectopic release of acth hormone and uh, uh, there are uh, tumors of the organs which are not usually uh, endocrine in nature like the extra secretion of adh hormone or wdha syndrome and which is not a beta isolate cell tumor of the pancreas so this is related to the pancreatic tumor we will study later about this wdh this is the important one and next one is we will see that uh, in this syndrome there is the diarrhea wdh is the main symptom is of diarrhea uh, in this case and uh, the next type of tumors are the men tumors that is the multiple endocrine neoplasia 
neoplasia or adenopathy is also right adenopathy so this is also called mea multiplying multiple endocrine neoplasia multiple endocrine adenopathy this is of two types type 1 and 2 type 1 and 2 as we know uh, that in the multiple um, the meaning is showing that there are the multiple neoplasia are present in the different organs of the body in the type 1 there is the involvement of the pituitary gland involvement of the pancreas or pancreatic glands and there is the involvement of the interior pituitary so uh, we have studied in the duodenal ulcer too that duodenal ulcer might arise due to the tumors of these multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1 and this is duodenal ulcer is the common feature of the multiple endocrine neoplasia of type 1 so uh, mostly the Zulinger allison syndrome develops in this case second one is the type 2 uh, multiple endocrine neoplasia which is also known as simple syndrome in simple syndrome there is the tumor of the thyroid gland and there is the pheochromocytoma pheochromocytoma and uh, there is the hyperparathyroidism so uh, there is the as you know there is there will be the hypertension in this case in case of uh, pheochromocytoma and in hyperparathyroidism there will be the increase in the parathormone hormone which will remove the calcium from the bones and there will be hypercalcemia or there will be the renal stone related to the calcium so this was all about the type 1 and 2 of multiple endocrine neoplasia and the epidermis. So this short topic is very much important for the multiple uh, questions. Thank you so much.